Hello, welcome to an Ozen engineering video. Uh, we're going to keep talking about the conjugate heat transfer model. And uh, up to now, uh, what we've done is uh, built a simple model uh, for an electronic cooling problem uh, with a heat source and uh, there's cooling air coming through the enclosure. And uh, we got these results in the explore mode. Uh, which essentially is a, a way to run the model in a quick and dirty mode uh, without much of a mesh control. Uh, so uh, what I want to talk about is m maybe go over a little bit of how to look at the results. So this is the contour mode. And uh, another one is uh, you can look at ISO surfaces, for example. So let's turn the contour. So these are some isosurfs around 98 degrees C. We can look at streamlines uh, and note that they are colored by temperature. One could color them by velocity magnitude as well. Uh, so another option is we can look at the particle flow. And the last one, which uh, sometimes is as little tricky to get to work but I find very useful is direction field uh, and it's essentially uh, looking at a cut that, that we create so let's uh, try and create a cut actually so let's hide these and you can see there's already a cut for us but uh, let's let's try and you know expand the bounds on this so pull on the white lines to get more of the flow region right okay so this is kind of showing velocity magnitude and you know what the flow is doing we can color this by temperature which is a bit more interesting you can see how the flow heats up as it goes through the heat sink so once we're satisfied with the solution in the explore mode, uh, if the design is complete, you probably most likely want to do a, a more uh, resolved, a higher quality solution. Uh, and the way to do that is uh, you to move on to the refine option. So in the refine mode, uh, we have some additional controls, uh, more uh, power over the mesh. And I'm gonna, you know, talk about those, maybe, you know, set the case up with more meshing and solution controls and see, you know, what the solution looks like. Is, is it much different than the one we got in the explore option? So let's see. So. Uh, one thing I want to do is uh, I want to have a predefined mesh on the die. So I kind of double click on it. I go to local mesh sizing and then I'm going to add something like half a millimeter maybe mesh size on, on, on our die. And probably similarly on the heat sink, you know, probably maybe about the same size let's get some finer mesh in the region so that that's the local control where you can assign sizes to uh, you know selected body face or an edge and uh, another way to control the mesh size is global and this uh, with global you know we, we have some options we can let determine automatically we can do curvature proximity etc so what we'll do is let's just let it do it automatically and then we'll go from there okay so let, let's see what else simulation options so let's click here uh, we don't necessarily have to specify calculation type but I'm gonna go say okay static or steady state simulation and let's look at some other options. Uh, 
So we can use the live GX solver or not, or we can use processors. Uh, let's see. We're going to keep the default turbulence model, not play with the convergence settings. We can have, in this case, TET mesh or poly mesh. And I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of poly mesh, so I'm going to turn on the poly mesh. Uh, so let's see. And uh, we can use the live GPU solver or right now, you know, what it's going to do is it's going to go and use the CPU. So how many CPUs am I going to use? The way to control it is under settings and it pops up this new window, which has lots of, uh, you know, controls. So we go under physics and what we want to do is we can do maximum number of processors on my machine I have 24 four cores so maybe I'll ask for 20 and and I'll close it down so right now uh, we're gonna solve using the 20 cores and let's pick our refine level let's kind of try and stay here so it's not a very fine mesh and what we can see is the added local refinement uh, we also asked for a polyhedral mesh and we asked for 20 processors so let's start our solution and see what happens so as the solution goes underway uh, we're gonna have this uh, bar kind of moving uh, here uh, so right now, you know, it's, it's working on the project. So now, as you can see, it start working and uh, we're going to follow as the solution proceeds. In the progress <coughs> window, as the solution proceeds, the first thing is, of course, it generates the mesh. Then it's going to come up with this notification. So let's take a look at this notification and it essentially gives us a number of elements so that gives us an idea on the model size which is, which is very useful and let's try and see as the solution proceeds can we see the mesh yes as you can see we generated a poly mesh. It only seems like two cells across the heat sink fins. So maybe we could go finer than that. But you know, this gives a feel about the mesh size. Let's look at our fluid volume where we have three layers of wave cells capture the boundary layer so that's nice and once the solution is complete we'll, we'll get <coughs> a figure like this as we've left our mouse on direction field so let's turn that off and then we can turn back the contours on and what we do see is the peak temperature of uh, 155 which is slightly under the about I think we had like 170 degrees C uh, under the explore option and the two results seem similar the flow fields also do look pretty you know temp temperature contours look similar so that's a good indication that you know we also had a valid result in the explorer mode uh, and in fact this uh, run was pretty fast it, it took under 10 minutes uh, so you know we can go ahead and you know try and do another step you know make it finer and finer it's it's up to us uh, another thing that could be done is uh, 
export this to fluent it's all the way to the right side and if you were to uh, click click this button uh, what uh, discovery will do is uh, automatically save a fluent version of this model and then open fluent and then you can continue the, pro the progress of the model in fluent uh, where you know th there are some more further options uh, that are currently not available in ANSYS Discovery.